Dear student, welcome to my online class. Hope you are well by the grace of Almighty. You know, we have been in lockdown for a long time. That is why our authority has decided to conduct the class through online. This is M. Dithahir Islam, Assistant Teacher in English, at us public school in college Ramanati. Today, I am going to discuss about the transformation of sentences, part 1. Before going to the further discussion, we need to know what is the difference between the transformation and conversion. Transformation of sentences means changing the sentence into another form without changing the meaning. Transformation is money hotching. One sentence is a little bit of a little Conversion. Conversion of sentences means changing the sentence into another form with the changing the meaning. Sentence is a little bit of a little bit of a little Look at the example first. He is a student. She has done chapter. He is not a, a teacher. She has done shikok now. Then shikok is a good shop of the chapter. And when he thought to come, she shikok now. Then she has done chapter. Look at the example. The pharmacy is a student. She has done chapter. He is not a student. She has done chapter now. Sarasri Nabudu, Tuber Gurbutan is a shate, or Tilburbutan. Now jump into the transformation of sentence from a pharmacy to an editor. Rule number one. Only alone and merely in a formative sentence, replaced by in case of a person, number, in case of a things, nothing but, in case of a number, not more than or not less than. Look at the example first. Only he can help us. In case of a person, we have to use a number. None but he can help us. He has only a ball. He has only a ball. A ball is a things. That is why we have to use a nothing but. He has a nothing but a ball. In case of a number. He has a merely 10 taka. He has not more than 10 taka. Or you can say that he has not less than 10 taka. Rule number two. Must is replaced by cannot but or cannot help. In case of a cannot help, we will have to use the verb plus ing. Look at the example for us. We must obey our parents. But in the state of the must, we will have to use the cannot but. We cannot but obey our parents. Look at the example. We must obey our parents. We cannot help obeying our parents. In the state of the mass, if I had I cannot help, we will have to use the bar plus ing. Rule number three. Both an and replace it by not only and but also. Look at the example first. Both the lawn and the law were excited. In the state of the board, we will have to use the not only. And in the state of the and, we will have to use the but also. Not only the lawn, but also the law were excited. He had both mangoes and oranges. He had not only mangoes but also oranges. Rule number four. And if join the two words, noun, adjective, and a verb, replace it by the not only and but also. Look at the example first. He was a and a gentle. Here and join the two adjectives, a median and a gentle. Before the first one, we'll have to use the not only, and in the state of the and, we will have to use the bottles. Look at example. He made a promise and kept it. Here, and added the two verb. Before the first verb, we will have to use the not only. And instead of the and, we will have to use the but also. Look at example. Kareem and Rahim went there. And added the two noun. Before the first one, we will have to use the not only. And instead of the and, we will have to use the but also. Not only Kareem, but also Rahim went there. Rule number five, everyone, everybody, every person, every plus common noun, or replace it by there is a noun. And at all spot with everybody, every person, everyone, etc. We have to write the bar and plus extension without any change. Look at example first. Every mother loves her son. Instead of we will have to write there is a noun. And we will have to write the task spot with every mother. We will have to write bar and rest of the sentence without any change. Look at another example. Everyone wishes to be happy. There is a no one. In the state of the every, we will have to write there is a no. And we will have to write the task part of the every one. And we will have to write but and rest part of the sentence. We will have to write without any change. Rule number six. Son is, is replaced by no son or had. Middle part of the sentence, we will have to write the then. And hardly in this case, We'll have to write the will. Look at the example first. 
as soon as the thief saw the corpse, he ran away. In the state of their souls, we'll have to ride no sooner ahead, but we'll have to remember, we'll have to ride the thought form of the bird, and in the state of the coma, we'll have to ride the dead. And look at another example. As soon as we saw him, he ran away. Hardly had she seen him when he ran away. In case of heart and scarcely, we'll have to ride the middle part of the sentence. Where? Rule number seven. Have fullness of relative degree or comparative degree. Replace it by no other. Plus noun of the relative degree. Plus it asks for S plus positive form S plus subject. What is absolute superlative degree? If I say only one boy is the best in your class, that means only one. That will be the absolute superlative degree. Look at the example first. Dhaka is the biggest city in Bangladesh. So only Dhaka is in Bangladesh is the biggest. So that is why this is absolute superlative degree. If you want to transform from affirmative to negative, we'll have to write no other in the beginning of the sentence. We'll have to write C noun after the superlative form. CT in Bangladesh, we'll have to write the verb and S plus positive form of the superlative form, S plus subject. Look at another example. Corruption is more dreadful than any other problem of Bangladesh. No other. And then we'll have to write the noun after the comparative form, problem of Bangladesh. We'll have to write verb, we'll have to write S and positive form of the comparative form, we'll have to write S plus subject. Rule number eight. Sometimes affirmative sentence are changed into the negative by using opposite words of adjective, adverb, and a verb. Not is used in a sentence. Look at the example first. I shall remember it. I shall not forget it. That means here we'll have to make a negative write down the opposite part of the verb. Look at another example. We should be honest in our life, but we'll have to make a negative. At first, we'll have to use a not. We should not be dishonest in our life. We'll have to use the opposite word of adjective. Rule number nine, always replace it by never, and opposite word of the principal bar for adjective. Look at the example first. Raven always attends the class. Raven never misses the class. In the state of the always, we'll have to use the never, and we'll have to write the opposite word of the principal bar. Look at another example. He is always reasonable. In the state of the always, We'll have to use the never and we'll have to write the opposite word of adjective. He is never unreasonable. Rule number 10 2 and 2 replaced by so it. 2 is replaced by so and 2 is replaced by that. If the principal clause verb is a present simple tense, we'll have to use the cannot. If the principal clause verb is a fast tense, we'll have to use the could not. Look at the example first. He is too weak to work, make a negative. He is so weak that he cannot work. In state of the first two, we'll have to use the so. In a state of the second two, we'll have to use that. The principal clause verb is a present simple tense. That is why we'll have to use the cannot. Look at another example. It was too poor to imagine. It was so poor that we could not imagine. The principal clause verb is a past tense. That is why we'll have to use the could not. Rule number 11. S, S, replaced by not less than, not more than. In a state of the past tense, not less or not more. Then we'll have to use the comparative form of the adjective. And in the state of the second S, we'll have to use then. Look at the example. Affirmative. Simi was as wise as Remy. Simi was not less wise than Remy. Also, in a state of the first S, we'll have to use the not less or not more. Then we'll have to use the comparative form of the adjective. And in a state of the second S, we'll have to use the then. 12. Sometimes replaced by always and make a verb negative using a not. But where there is a no auxiliary, make a verb negative by taking a help of helping verb. Look at the example. Sanjida sometimes visits me. Sanjida does not always visit me. In a state of the sometimes, we'll have to use always, but make the verb a negative. 
then there is a no auxiliary verb verb is the present simple tense we'll have to take the help of helping verb does so sanjida does not always visit me look at another example a day laborer is sometimes happy a day laborer is not always happy because we'll have to use the not there is auxiliary verb and in a state of the sometime we'll have to use always rule number 13 a few replaced by not many many replaced by not a few so we should bear in mind that a few and many use in case of countable noun and we'll have to make the verb negative using a not but where there is a no auxiliary verb make a verb negative using a helping verb look at the example bangladesh has a few scholars bangladesh does not have a many scholars that is in a state of the few we'll have to use the many and we'll have to make the verb negative and using the no but where there is a no auxiliary we'll have to take the help of helping verb look at another example there are many people here there are not a few, few people that means in a state of the many we'll have to use a few but make the verb negative using the not rule number 14 mass is replaced by not a little and a little replaced by not pass we should bear in mind that mass a little use in case of uncountable noun so make the verb negative using a noun but where there is a no auxiliary verb make the verb negative using the helping verb he bol- belongs much money he does not belong um, a little money there is a no auxiliary verb and that is why we will have to take the help of helping verb look at another example it has a little water he does not have a mass water there is a no auxiliary verb that is why we will have to take the help of helping verb he does not have a mass water in the state of a little we will have to use the mass but we'll have to make the verb negative using the not but where there is a no auxiliary verb we'll have to take the help of helping verb now look at the transformation from asarji to interrogative rule number 1 if the assertive sentence is in the affirmative we'll have to change into negative interrogative if it is in a negative then we'll have to change it into bear interrogative as condition to make interrogative sentence put auxiliary verb am is are have has had or model auxiliary before the subject in interrogative sentence because as condition to make interrogative sentence for auxiliary verb or a helping verb before the subject then it will be transformed into the interrogative sentence but we'll have to identify what the assertive sentence is the affirmative or a negative if the assertive sentence is affirmative we will have to make a negative interrogative if the assertive sentence is a negative we will have to make a very interrogative look at the example he was very sentient the assertive sentence is affirmative that is why we will have to make a negative interrogative that was not he very sentient as conditions we will have to use the auxiliary verb before the subject that means was before the subject and was not because if the assertive sentence is affirmative we will have to make the negative so that is why we will have to use the not after the verb was not he very sentient that means we will have to use the sign of interrogations after the sentence so then another example he is not a good person the assertive sentence is a negative we will have to make a pair interrogative is he a good person that means we will have to put the auxiliary verb before the subject rule number 2 no auxiliary verb in a sentence change it by using do does did or do not does not or did not so but where there is a no auxiliary then we will have to take the help of helping verb so if the verb is a present simple tense we will have to take the help of do or a does in case of third person singular noun use does or does not in case of other person we'll have to take the help of do or do not 
look at example he plays football does not he play football subset is the third person singular number verb is the present simple tense we will have to take the help of helping verb does so that is why does not he play football look at another example they did not play football is standing the main verb is past simple tense that is why we will have to take the help of did assertive sentence is a negative we will have to make their interrogative did they play football is standing rule number three never and nothing replaced by ever or anything look at the example i never drink tea do i ever drink tea We'll have to bear in mind that condition is so we'll have to use the auxiliary verb before the subject. Then it will be interrogative. Where there is a no auxiliary verb, we'll have to take the help of helping verb. So there is a no auxiliary verb. That is why I have to take in the help of helping verb. Do look at the another example. There is a nothing on the table. Is there anything on the table? This was nothing implicated to the negative. That is why we don't need to make a negative in the verb. But first condition is we'll have to use the auxiliary verb before the subject. Rule number four: everybody, everyone, all, replaced by who plus do not, does not, or did not. So in case of present simple tense, there is a no auxiliary. Past simple, there is a no auxiliary. Look at example: everybody wished to be happy. The verb is a past simple. Who did not wish to be happy? First, we look at the assertive sentence. Is affirmative. We'll have to transform into the negative interrogative. Who did not wish to be happy? In the state of everybody, we'll have to use who. Then we'll have to make the negative. We know that assertive sentence is affirmative. We'll have to transform into the negative interrogative. So, part is a past simple tense. That is why we'll have to take the help of helping verb did. Look at another example. Everybody hates the lion. Who does not hate a lion? In the state of everybody, we'll have to use the who. And hate is verb is a present simple tense. That is why we'll have to take the help of helping verb does. The sentence is affirmative. That is why we'll have to transform into the negative interrogative. Who does not hate a lion? Stay home. Stay safe.